Hello and welcome to Minicom Tutorials. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Microsoft 365 on another PC after the product key has already been used. Okay, so this method is going to work for you whether you've bought your Microsoft 365 um, product key from, let's say, from the internet, let's say from Microsoft Office website official website from any vendor okay or where you bought it um, from any shop you know in the form of a card let me show you an example so as you can see over here i bought um, of microsoft office 365 um so, i mean uh, the key i bought the key as you can see i bought a product key in the form of this card from a market i'm sorry it's in french so i'm in france so it was bought here in france and then as you can see i've actually already used the the, the, the product key okay so i used it on one of my pieces and now i wish to install like on my new pc okay most of us don't know that like after you bought um let's say a, a, a microsoft office 365 after you bought it and then you have already used it you might not know that you still you are still capable of using it for another installation so this is what i'm trying to show you so in my case i was using it on my previous pc and then after i got my new pc the, remember the license is still active so this particular one that i got was actually uh, microsoft uh, office 365 for personal use and it's actually for one person so it's just for me so and then um i the, the, actually bought it in this month this month of uh sorry or was it last month sorry last month so the, in the month of um january 2023 and then it, the license is actually one year Okay, so since it's a one year license, meaning if I bought it last month, I still have, I mean, almost a year to go. I still have like 11 months to go, right? So if I still have 11 months to go and it happened that I changed my PC, I cannot just sit down and say, okay, having changed my PC, then I will have to buy another uh, product key. No, you can still install uh from your microsoft account on a different pc even if your software is just for one person like in my case i bought it for personal use and just for one person but i can still install it from my account on any pc that i want as far as the um, what do you call it the um, my license is still active all right so no need to much less that uh, all you have to do is to simply go to just open your your browser okay in this case i'm using firefox but you could use any browser of your choice and then you simply have to go to um microsoft you visit this particular website microsoft 365 Okay, you visit Microsoft365.com um, slash setup. Okay, and then you hit enter. Okay, now once you come to Microsoft Office.com slash uh, setup, it will bring you to this particular place okay and then um, you can just click on here these are cookies you either accept or just ignore if you I will accept the cookies okay so over here you'll be able to install your what your your microsoft uh, 365 okay you'll be able to download a setup from this place having already used your product key 
even if you are installing the, the, the Microsoft Office 365 for the first time, meaning you have not yet even used the product key, you still have to come to the same website. Okay, uh, Microsoft, um, Microsoft 365.com slash setup. Whether you are installing the product for the first time or you've already used the product key, you still have to come to this website. Now, once you are over here, you see that we have several options and it's in three steps. The first step has to do with signing in with your Microsoft account. The second start step has to do with entering the product key. This is for new users, people who haven't yet entered the product key. So you have to first of all sign up with your Microsoft account. If you don't have a Microsoft account, then you will have to create one. And after you've created your Microsoft account, now you can what? Uh, and make sure that after you've created your Microsoft account, preferably it's going to be something like uh, minukun at outlook.com. It will be something at outlook.com. This is a Microsoft account. But sometimes you can even use your existing Gmail account to sign up for Microsoft and it will still work. But the important thing is to make sure that you remember your Microsoft account login information. That is your email and then your password. because any time at all you are to like in my case um, i've changed the pc but my subscription or the product that i bought is still active my license is still active till you know uh 20 end of 2020 end end of uh or even beginning till beginning of 2024 so meaning I can still use my product as long as much as I want on different pieces. All I always have to do is make sure I log into my I install do the installation from my what my Microsoft account. So without much ado, let's continue. So over here, instead of signing in, so if you are doing it for the first time, then if you already have a Microsoft account, then you sign in here and then the next step will be entering a product key. And then you proceed from there. However, if you are doing it uh, for the second time or even for the third time, and no, if you are doing it for the first time and you don't have an account, then you click on create an account in order to create an account to do the installation. However, if you are doing it for the second or the third time, or you know, then in that case, you already you've already you might have already used your product key so since you have already used your product key then you all you have to do is to come and click on this option here you see that we have already entered the product key and looking for your software so you have to click on what install from your microsoft account so if you click on this now once you click on this they will ask you for your login information. So, like I said, make sure you give the login information that you entered when you did your last installation. So, in my case, it's minimum at outlook.com. Outlook.com. And then, if I should click on next, here they are asking me for my password. So I simply enter my password. Okay. Click on sign in. If you want to save your password, you can go ahead and save. I don't want to save, so I'll say don't save. If I want to stay signed in and I click on yes else i click on no i don't want to stay signed in so i click on no for now then what are they saying they're saying what um okay they're saying uh we found after i signed in they said what we found an account sorry we can't we found an account you can use here so this is the account and that is so you, you see what i'm saying so after i entered my credentials they are saying that they found this account this is my initial subscription 
okay so i will just click on it and then they ask me to enter my password again so i simply go ahead and hit my, and enter my password again Then click on sign in. Let me take, take the password again. Right. I don't want to save, so I'll click on the save. Okay, perfect. And now it brings us here. So over here, as you can see, um, I can simply. So let's let's. So we see that over here we have what. All all these are applications that come with uh, Office three six five. So I will have all these kind of products: OneDrive um skype outlook you know teams all these uh, apps there are several apps you know so i simply go ahead and click on what so they are saying what um so you see that over here my subscription as i explained to you because i just bought it in a few months a, a, a last month and it's supposed to expire in a year time so and saying my subscription will actually expire on the 14th of April uh, 20 what 24 so I didn't have to buy any other uh, whatever again all I simply have to do is to install it from my account you see so you see here over here we have what um over here you have on top here uh, activate the whatever this is different if you want to they send activate what um facturation periodic i don't want to go into the details this is if you want to this is not our papers here they are saying what install uh, it's in french but they are saying what install a application office to votre pc a apparel mobile so they are saying do you want to install um office applications on your pc or whatever so you can just go ahead and hit on this okay and then you see that once i hit on this i have um to I have the option to choose the language in which i want to do my installation i think over down here too we have this option like install office so let's intentionally click on the okay when i click on the drop down menu you see that these are like i said these are all the apps that come with office okay and uh on top here we are talking about office applications i think it's the same thing let's click on install here install office it's the same thing and i'll install all the office applications if it's the same either you click on this one or you click on top here install office app, office applications it's still the same thing and after which you have to now choose the language that you want in my case i'll install in english one of the apps will be in english and they're saying what uh, choose uh choisy une version meaning you should choose a version so do you want let's say uh version do you want the default default version or you want let's say office with uh, 64 bits 32 bits 64 bits or you want the default in my case i'll pick uh, 64 bits okay i just go ahead and hit on install Uh, once i hit on install it will download the setup for me 
So the setup is right here. Just open my browser and it's right here. I simply go ahead and install it. So let's double click on it. Now you go ahead and click on yes, install. And the installation will be done. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this helped. Please subscribe. Bye.